1964, performance artist Dorothy Podba asked Andy Warhol if she could take a couple of shots of his Marilyn Monroe paintings. Simple enough, thought Warhol, but instead of picking up a camera, Podba took out a gun and started firing. Warhol eventually patched up the bullet holes, but nevertheless, they became known as the Shot Marilyns. Film producer Peter Brandt bought the light blue one in 1967 for a steal. In today's money, he paid only around $40,000. In 1994, Greek billionaire Philip Niarchos bought the red Marilyn for $3 million. A few years later, the orange one went for $17 mil, and supposedly it was sold again to hedge fund tycoon Kenneth C. Griffin for more than $200 million. Now, Christie's is putting Sage Blue under the hammer. Shot Sage Blue Marilyn by Andy Warhol, coming to us from the Thomas and Doris Amman Foundation. Painted in 1964, this Marilyn portrait is one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic and transcendent images of the 20th century. Smell like a dime store, I know what that means. Sure. I'm meeting somebody. Warhol based all of his Marilyn paintings on a publicity photo from the movie Niagara and did so after Monroe died in 1962, almost a decade after the film's release. Hello, hello, please? He first made Marilyn Diptych and then Gold Marilyn and then the shot Marilyns came a little later. He was very careful about how to set the hair, how to set the face. Her lips are actually where they need to be. Her eyeshadow is where it needs to be. Uh, he really paid attention to it and later said that was way too complicated and he's not going to do this again. Christie's wants to get 200 million bucks for it. That would be the biggest price tag of any painting from the 20th century. But whether or not that's feasible is for now a shot in the dark.